Welcome. We are here to demo Disney's Hocus Pocus the game. Uh, so before we get started, we do want to let everyone know that if you are here through Gen Con Online, please be sure to give your ticket for this event through your event details page to turn that in. Uh, there are instructions on your event dashboard page and in the Gen Con emails that you've gotten. Uh, so the attendees are responsible for turning those in and it just makes sure that Ravensburger gets um, gets credit for that and that Gen Con Online knows that people are attending these and mm -hmm. just kind of helps everybody out. Yeah, and it tells us that you like these events and you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so without further ado, we would like to talk about Disney's Hocus Pocus the, the game. We'll be doing kind of an unboxing as well as a quick run through and yeah. demo of it. So I'm Tuck. And I'm Chelsea. And we are Ravensburger Brand Ambassadors and really excited to be working, uh, especially with this game. We really enjoy yes. this one. <laughs> the game itself is for ages eight and up. It can do two to six players and the runtime is about 30 minutes or so. Uh, it's $19.99 and in the US is available most places that games are sold. And in Canada will be available later this month at Indigo. Perfect. Well. Wow. Thank you for that marvelous introduction, but we are missing one very important component. So with that being said, oh book! Perfect, thank you. <laughs> so one thing that I really love, or that we actually both really love um, about the design is how much it looks like that classic old book all the way around. I love that you could put it on a bookshelf mm -hmm. and that it would just kind of sneak in and fit in perfectly. So I love that it definitely looks like that classic book. So, And actually, I do want to start with the poem that is on the back of the book because uh, I feel like it sets the scene. So the black flame candle has been lit. Now the Sanderson witches you must outwit. Or with a wretched evil potion, a foul spell they'll set in motion. Stun the witches and ruin the brew before the sun can rise anew. So essentially, the premise of the game is that we need to work together in order to protect Salem's children and stop the Sanderson sisters uh, from completing their wicked potion before the sun rises. So let's unbox it. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> so right when we open it, uh, we have that instruction manual. Um, and one thing I really also like is just how beautiful all of these instructions and the graphics are inside. It's really easy to follow and just really uh, user friendly. Also, I do love uh, what is on the front of this. So it says, under the light of a full moon on All Hallows Eve, you and your friends sneak into the old Sanderson house. On a dare, you light the black flame candle. Ah, <laughs> perfect touch. Surely the old stories are just a bunch of hocus pocus. Before you know it, the Sanderson sisters have come back from the dead, ready to brew their terrible potion. It's up to you to ruin the witch's potion and put an end to their terrible deeds forever. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's see the pieces. Yeah, so our next piece in here is actually, and I will move it over here so you can see it a little bit clearer while we talk about it. So this is um, our witch board as well as the sunrise tracker. And so under each of the Sanderson sisters, it has how you will stun those witches as well as where we will keep track of the sunrise. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Yep, absolutely. So next up is the cauldron. The cauldron is really cool. It's actually two-sided. So on the back, you can see the dark side as well as the little feet. <laughs> So cute. And then on the front <laughs> is the main piece that we'll be using and working with to make sure that we can ruin their potion. Yes. All right, next up we have uh, the wonderful, beautiful cards. The cards have really great illustrations as well as a bunch of different colors on them. So there are five different colors and five different ingredients. So just kind of as an example, uh, first up we have purple. This one we have the Newt's saliva and the purple cards all have a really nice cobweb around the edges. Yeah, it's so beautiful mm -hmm. and detailed. <laughs> Next up we have uh, our yellow cards. This one is a dash of pox and you'll notice this one in the upper left also has a spell book icon. Mm -hmm. We will talk about that a little bit later but that's not a good thing for us. <laughs> and the yellow cards have waves. Yeah. On the orange cards, this one's an oil of boil. The orange cards have thorns on them around the edges. We also have green cards, a dead man's toe for this one. And in this, you see a very cute Binks icon. We'll talk about that later, but that means that he's going to help us, which is wonderful. And the green cards have those really cool bubbles around the edges. That's my favorite. 
And last but not least, we have Thine Own Tongue in the blue. Uh, this one also has a Binx icon, so you'll see those kind of scattered mm -hmm. around. Um, and then the blue has a really cool lightning effect yeah, on it. Yeah, I think that one's my favorite, definitely. I love how the lightning looks, mm -hmm. just the detail of it. It's beautiful. Yep. And so yeah. as you kind of flip through, you will see <laughs> all kinds of combinations of those colors and ingredients, and that's what we'll be playing with mostly as we go through yes. stunning these. Yeah. Also on here, we have the, um, the spell cards. These are what the Sanderson sisters will be using against us, and it has a really cool picture as well on the back, it just looks like that spell book and really mm -hmm. reinforces that this is something that they are casting against us yes. to make it harder on us as yeah. we go. I mean, being said, don't open the book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we also have a very cute Binks kind of icon and meeple as well. And that'll help us as we play through. Um, we'll kind of show that off as we're doing it, yeah. but that'll help keep track of who Binks is helping at the yes. time. And I do have to say, this is probably my favorite piece of the entire game, because if you were like me, I definitely, as a child, just wanted Thackeray Binks to be my best friend and to go on adventures and to hang out with him. So the idea that he gets to help us and is a part of the game, I'm all for. Yep. <laughs> all right. So next in the box, we do have, uh, we have these tokens. Uh, so we have the sunrise for that sunrise tracker that I had mentioned earlier on the witch board, as well as our stun token. And so that we get to place on the witches, just so we know which one is stunned. And we'll talk a little bit about how that works in a bit. Mm -hmm. And then we also, uh, players, we have a couple of uh, trick tokens up our sleeve. And so we have four uh, that we can use once per game, either one of us, and that is it after it's been used. So, yeah. So a few things that we can kind of do, but they are mm -hmm. definitely limited. And then last but not least, inside here is the Black Flame Canva itself, which is, which so is cool. just a great little touch. <laughs> All right. All right. So what do we want to do here? Let's, uh, so um, while you shuffle some cards, mm -hmm. and I'm going to lay out these trick tokens, I also want to just briefly restate uh, the premise of the game. And so we want to ruin the potion and stun a witch three times before the sun rises. With that being said, though, so I will show now um, a little bit more in detail how you can stun these witches. And so um, Sarah, you uh, stun Sarah when all ingredients are the same color. Mary is stunned when all ingredients match. And Winifred, because she is, of course, the leader of the sisters, she takes a little bit more. And so all ingredients match and all five colors are visible. She's kind of tough. She's a little bit tougher, which I like. The thing is, um, with this and stunning the witches, so you do have to stun a witch three times, but it does not have to be each of the witches. Mm -hmm. So you are not required to stun all three of them in order or anything. You can, for example, stun Mary all three times, yep. right? And so Mary would be all ingredients match. So you have that option uh, to just stun her each of the times. Yep. So. so just three stuns, and once you get those, whoever they are, uh, we win. Yes. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> all, right. all right. So um, with that, let's actually go ahead and get going. So with two players, everybody gets four cards each, four ingredients, and the rest is just kind of set aside here. Mm -hmm. So as we're going through, the, uh, the Sanderson sisters have actually put a bit of a curse on us, and they've made communication difficult. Cat's got your tongue, if you will. Exactly. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, the turn structure goes that each player can ask a question, but it's only about a certain color or a mm -hmm. certain ingredient, and everyone else can only respond with a yes or no. Yes. But it gives a little bit of information to kind of go through. And then as you, uh, after you get your information, you're allowed to play a card. Now playing a card, you can either match the color or the icon. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, for example, this purple oil of boil, I could play on the oil of boil because it matches the icon, or I could play it on the purple because it matches the color. And then like Chelsea was saying, the idea is to stun those witches, we either want to get all of the ingredients the same or all of the colors the same. Yep. So. With that being said, let's see what we can do. Fingers crossed we can uh, hopefully ruin their brew this time. Absolutely. Uh, secret between, you know, just us. Uh, we didn't do so well the last time we played this. Yeah. So fingers crossed that we got it this time. A little time. bit better. <laughs> All right. So I will start off with, do you have purple ingredients? Yes. 
Okay, so that gives me an idea that I might want to kind of steer towards colors because I've got some as well. So just kind of like I said, I've got that oil of boil. I think I will go ahead and play that on there so that maybe we can start going towards purples. Okay. With that, every time you play a card, you'll draw one. So do you have oil of boil? Yes. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna uh, follow kind of in that suit and play another purple oil of boil. Mm -hmm. um, and so that way we could either go for purple or maybe because you did also say yes to my oil of boil question, mm -hmm. maybe we can go towards all ingredients matching. So. Something like that, awesome. Yeah. All right, um, do you have newt saliva? Yes. Okay. I will play a purple dash of pox. Now the great thing about this, remember we talked about those icons. This actually has a Binx icon, which means that Binx will come and help me, which is wonderful. Yes. The way that he helps is whoever uh, played that will get the Binx token. Mm -hmm. They'll put it out in front of them. And now I can show my cards, which gives everyone a little bit more information about what we're going towards yeah, so that hopefully, um, my other fellow players can <laughs> can get a little bit more information than just a yes or no. Yes. All right, so I'm interested in what we're going for. Mm -hmm. It's always hard when I can see his cards because now I try to plan without <laughs> really communicating what I'm hoping he will understand I would like him to do. Oh, no. Well, bubble, bubble, I'm in trouble, and so are you, because you're with me. So, I will, because you did ask if I have a newt saliva, so mm -hmm. I will actually play that newt saliva. Okay. Um, however, um, our newt saliva, or the newt saliva I played, does have a spell book, which means yes. we will have a spell cast, cast against, against us. Cast against us. Yep. So, and because none of the witches are stunned at the moment, um, we don't have that hope there. So uh, this is Green Lightning, uh, Winifred <laughs> Sanderson, and so it says to discard the top five cards from the ingredient deck. So we hadn't really talked about this, but discarding ingredients hurts because we need to stun them three times mm -hmm. before the ingredient out. deck runs out. Mm -hmm. So discarding five gets us that much closer towards Ooh. failure. We'll see how that goes. That was rough. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me draw my card. Right. And now it is your turn. Thank you. Um, <laughs> do you have purple cards? Yes. Okay. We're going <laughs> to kind of keep going on that vein then, I think. So I can play a purple thine own tongue here, which gets us really close, hopefully, except that I no longer have any purple cards. Yeah. So we'll see how that does for us. So you have, I see that you have dead man's toe. And we need purple cards. This is tough. This is tough. <laughs> so I'm actually going to use one of those trick tokens okay. uh, because my hand's a little bit rough right now and anything that I play will not really help our game. So I am going to actually um, take Burning Rain of Death <laughs> and discard three ingredients to draw three ingredients from my hand. Right, and so remember with those trick tokens, they can only be used once per the game. And so once it's done, it will be flipped over. Yeah. And so, so I'm sorry. I know it's to risky to that. discard, <laughs> but uh, hopefully we're trying to get a purple that will get us a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm gonna discard those three. Okay. And then I will draw three more here. Okay, okay. I'm going to re-ask the question I asked you earlier, even okay. though I see your hand. Do you have <laughs> Dead Man's Toe? Yes. Okay. I'm going to play this Blue Newt Saliva. Okay. <laughs> so with that, I'm hoping that she's giving me a little bit of a clue. I'll play <laughs> a Dead Man's Toe that will keep us from getting a little bit farther away at least. Yes. All right. And with that, I will play Very a purple done. Dead Man's Toe. Very and we do have done. a spell, but... We did stun Mary because all, no, I'm so sorry. We did stun Sarah Sanderson because all of the ingredients are the same color. And the great thing is since the spell came out, 
even with the spell, since we were able mm -hmm. to stun them, it doesn't come out. Yes. So that's awesome. So now a few things happen. Yes. The sunrise tracker moves up, which means mm -hmm. that we are a little bit closer towards sunrise and yes. winning the game, <laughs> which is awesome. Uh, and then we will collect all of these, and there's a small thing that you have to do in between turns. So, like I said, as you get closer towards uh, the end of the game, or, or towards running out of ingredients, when you do this, you're actually able to get some of your cards back. Any cards that have an icon, whether it is the spell book or the Binks icon, mm -hmm. in the ones on here, or that you've discarded, will get to go back into the deck shuffled in. So it's a little bit of a way. Any of them that don't have an icon get discarded forever. So <laughs> we will take those with the icons and the ones we didn't use and shuffle those back together. And we will begin our next round. Fingers crossed. We're doing good so far. We last are. We're time, doing a lot better last than, time we did not do than so we well. have recently. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So now. We will start over again. We can stun any of the witches again. We can kind of work towards that. But the great thing is, if a spell comes out yes. and it's cast by Sarah, since she's stunned, it, it won't, won't hurt take, us. Yes, which it will won't be take great. effect. All right. All right. As well, Bink's icon goes back, yep. and we will start fresh. All right. All right. You go ahead. It's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, I played, last, yeah okay. I played the last. Okay. I played the last move. Let's <laughs> see. Uh, I need a big. Good about asking questions. Do you have <laughs> uh, green cards? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's about all I've got, so I guess I'll start going that way. So I'll play a green oil uh, of boil. Okay. Do you have dead man's toe? Yes. Okay. Well, I will stay with the green for now, and I will play a green thine own tongue. Okay. Do you have yellow? Yes. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to play a dash of pox, but maybe that question if we need to adjust might help. Okay. Do you have dead man's toe? Yes. Okay, I'm hoping you have the green dead man's toe and you wanted <laughs> me to do that. Oh, nope, I wasn't <laughs> thinking that much ahead. <laughs> uh, all right. All so right. <laughs> I'm a little... Stuck. So what I'll actually do is play a yellow dead man's toad just to kind of keep it where it is. Okay. Without doing anything worse, maybe. All right, all right. So I see that we are, it does look like we are kind of going for the green route again. Mm -hmm. um, but I will ask, do you have green cards? No. Yeah, so I can't ask another question, which makes that really difficult because <laughs> I know what I would like to ask again. And so... Hopefully this doesn't throw us off too much, or maybe we can switch from a previous question I'd asked before, and I'm going to play a dead man's toe there, because we could go okay. for Mary and all ingredients match. That's true. There That's is true. that possibility. Hmm. <laughs> I can't do, you have any do questions much. For me? <laughs> I don't even know what I would ask at this point. Do you have dead man's toes? Nope. Okay. <laughs> right after I so, you know, was like, we could do this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I remembered from a while back that you had, you had, yeah. had dead man's toe. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try not to mess things up too much since we're a little bit closer with that. And I'll play a yellow thine own tongue and okay. still keep our greens out there. Okay. Do you have thine own tongue? Yes. Okay, so I will play a orange thine own tongue. Okay. Uh, which does unfortunately have a spell book. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, but we are lucky because it is Sander, uh, Sarah Sanderson, okay. and uh, hers is run amok. And so, if she wasn't stunned, what we would have to do is remove Binks from play, and each player would have to discard one ingredient, one ingredient, and then draw one new ingredient. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, because she is our stunned uh, witch at the moment, yeah, we don't have nothing to do happens. That. That's awesome. <laughs> but we still should probably run amok, 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 amok. <laughs> Hopefully, some of you guys are running amok. <laughs> All right. Um, so I like that we're adjusting kind of. We now have three in play. We've got three green yes. cards and three thine own tongues. Yes. Um, 
Unfortunately, I think I have to mess one of those up That's instead okay. of keeping it going. <laughs> um, so I think what I'll do is, um, since I don't have a great option, I will play a purple dash of pox, but it has the Binks icon, okay. which will help us maybe with a little bit of our yeah, communication at least. To be able to see a bit more. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is this is a little rough uh, looking at what you have. So we... We are not getting close to the green as much mm -hmm. anymore. But we could maybe do thine own tongue. Mm -hmm. So in hopes of not messing up too many things, um, <laughs> although I am going to mess up things just a little bit, I am going to play this Newt Saliva, which I'm so sorry has a spell bug. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, so this one is I Smell Children, and it is Mary Sanderson. I feel like we got to do the Winnie, I Smell Children. Exactly. <laughs> right, and so this is choose a pile with at, uh, with at least one ingredient and discard all the ingredients in that pile. Okay, so I'm thinking this one. Yes, what, what's our card? That would be Oil of Boil. And it's but it oil. doesn't mess up our thine own tongues or that Purple. Yes, that's true. Okay, mm -hmm. I think that one too. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully, crossed. yeah. Hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right. All right. Um, do you have thine own tongues? No. I feel like I still need to go towards it, so I'm going to. I know. To play. At this point, we're so close. So we're so close, close to stunning Mary. <laughs> I'll do that there. Okay. 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 I see. I see your card. Do you mm -hmm. have dash of pox? Yes. Okay. I'm going to play a blue dash of pox. Okay. All right. I will play a yellow dash of pox, which might get me towards a yellow thy known tongue, yes. but it has a spell book on yes. it. Yes. And don't forget to draw another card. Thank you. All right. Oh, good. We get to have a calming circle. Let's take a moment. Hopefully, mm -hmm. while they have a calming circle, we can have a calming circle <laughs> to uh, pull out the ingredients mm -hmm. to uh, stun Mary here. But this is uh, Mary Sanderson, um, which uh, we have not stunned yet. And so each player passes one random ingredient from their hand to the player on their right. Okay. So since Binks is out, I'm actually going to try and yes. be a little bit more fair. Flip this upside down and mix up a little bit here. You are the player on the right. Here you are. Thank you. Okay. All right. And then your cards will go back down. Go back down. For I was really hoping that I would randomly pass over that yellow vine. I know. Time. I was hoping that too. But because you didn't, I'm actually going to use another trick token. Yep. And so I am going to call in our friend Billy Butcherson to not play an ingredient Perfect. this round. Awesome. So. It's a one-time use, but that will let me play a yellow Yay! thine own tongue. So all ingredients match, which means we will stun Mary, Mary. and our sunrise tracker moves one more. Good I was job. getting I was getting nervous I about that, honestly. <laughs> My cards were not looking good. <laughs> all right. So at the end of the round again, we will get rid of Minx yes. and go through the cards and pick out any with icons. Yes. We have a Binks there. Spell book. Yeah. I just love all of the artwork I on do these too. cards. They're very they beautiful. They are so beautiful. All right. So the ones without icons will get completely removed from the game, and we will shuffle these back in. Oh, and then it'll actually be my turn when mm -hmm. we start. Okay. okay. All right. So we have one round to go. Let's see how we do. Fingers crossed. You guys have brought us luck so far, so keep <laughs> sending that luck. <laughs> All right. Do you right. have Newt Saliva? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, then I am going to play a blue Newt Saliva. Okay. I am doing really well with Binks so far, so let's do an <laughs> orange Newt Saliva, which will get me Binks again. Yes. And I'll show you what I've got. Okay. I... So we've no more Newt Salivas. Ran out of the Newt Salivas. <laughs> All right, well, I do see that you have quite a few oil of boil, mm -hmm. but then it kind of runs out. <laughs> and that's the tough thing, adjusting as you go. Yeah. I'm actually proud of us the last round for going for a color and, and then actually completely being able changing to adjust it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep on the Newt's Live. I know we're going to kind of run into something, but I'm going to keep on that. And okay. I'm going to play a purple card there. Okay. 
All right, well. <laughs> All right, so I have not much that I can do without messing up mm -hmm. the few that we've put out there. So I'll go ahead and just put out a, a dash of pox, change mm -hmm. the color there, see if we can get something going. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, so do you have oil of boil? <laughs> yes, I do. All right, so that might be something maybe. So I'm gonna play an oil of boil and okay. it does have a spell book. Fingers crossed uh, for, for Mary, hopefully. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is Take Flight. Uh, this is cast by all three all Sanderson three, sisters, yes. so it doesn't matter who's stunned, this will always go off. Yes. So remove the stun token from play and Oof. cast another spell. That hurts, especially if the next one's from Ooh. Mary. And of course, Winnie, I smell children. Of course, all right. <laughs> and so choose a pile with at least one ingredient and discard the ingredients in that pile. That's rough. So. <laughs> I'm thinking one of the yeah, new salivas since I've got some oils of boil. Yes. All right. I agree with that. Let's get rid of. I don't have a blue card, so let's get rid <laughs> of maybe that one. All right. And it is your turn. <sighs> I'm right. sorry. I, I brought some heavy spells down that, on us. <laughs> yeah, that was a rough one. So let's do an orange oil of boil there. Okay. Maybe we can adjust a little bit. All right. All right. Well. Well. Okay, I'm gonna play, so hopefully we can keep going towards kind of that oil of boil and I'm mm -hmm. hoping this will help a little bit. I'm gonna play a blue thine own tongue and I will actually take Banks. My childhood oh, dream has come back. Hello Banks, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can kind of see what I have. Yeah, and you maybe have an oil of oil as well. Move those kind of up so they're a little bit easier to see with All our right. Banks here. So, uh, I think I can definitely do, I'll do a green oil of oil there. Okay. And hopefully you've got something that can help us out as well. Yeah, not really. Not really. Yeah, if we're going for the oil of oil, I would have to cover one of our oil of oil. So mm -hmm. do you mm -hmm. have thine own tongue? Yes. Okay. So. Maybe this will help, and also to maybe try and avoid some spells, because both exactly. my dead man toes have spells. I'm going to play my just thine own tongue right there. Okay. And hopefully you can do something with that. No, not really. <laughs> We've gotten ourselves in a bit of a bind. Yeah, we might need to adjust again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, the way to adjust might be if you have dead man's toes. Yes. So. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I have two. I will, you can't say that. I do see it. Binks but. is here. <laughs> Binks is helping. I'll play an orange dead man's toe and see if maybe adjusting helps. All right. Well, then following in that path, I will also play a dead man's toe and I'll play a purple dead man's toe, which will bring out a spell. Mm -hmm. And all of them are actually currently, the stun token is out. Yes. So uh, this is green lightning again with Winifred. And so discard the top five cards from the ingredient deck. Now, hold on. I feel like we're getting a little too close to the end. And we that's are. a lot of cards to get rid of. And we're very small in the ingredient deck. So, so I think we should probably use another trick token, all right, personally. Let's use our circle of salt. Yes. And so this way we can discard that spell and actually draw another spell and hopefully have a little bit nicer of a A little spell. bit better of a spell? We'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, what's the next one then that we'll actually do? All right, so it is Sarah Sanderson, Come <laughs> Little Children. And so uh, players cannot ask for information until another spell is cast. All right, we'll see how that ends up. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it up there Ooh. to remind yes, us to that we can do us. that. I do love, though, I mean... We haven't been showing as close up, but check out this artwork <laughs> on these cards. They are All of so the artwork is, is awesome in this game. And I love the fonts. It's just perfect. All right. <laughs> so zero communication. Let's see. Um, zero communication. <laughs> there. All right. I feel like it's too quiet now. Like, we do have to like say a little bit. We're just not allowed to ask our official questions. <laughs> it uh, got a little way too quiet. <laughs> so 
I can't ask questions. I was yeah, about to you ask can't ask question. questions. All right, I'm gonna see if maybe you just pick up on what I'm doing. Send it like. So in doing this, okay. it gets us maybe towards something, but it also allows us to do another spell, spell, which maybe will help us with the communication a little bit. Okay, so this is probably my favorite spell card. Um, it is the Dance Until You <laughs> Die card. And the reason why it is probably my favorite is, first of all, I feel like we all have to stop, Take right? Put a spell on you. We got to <laughs> dance just for a second here. All right. <laughs> And so this one is discard the top ingredient from each pile unless that ingredient shows Oof. faint. All right, so that undoes most of the work that we have been going yeah. towards. So yeah. let's reevaluate again. Yeah, okay. So we have some oil of boils back. Mm -hmm. And and we can now ask questions again. Yeah, so do you have a blue card? <laughs> no. Okay, so I can't, oh, I can do this. It will bring another spell, but it won't cover any of those oil of boils, hopefully. So I will play a dead man's toe. Okay. We're getting hit with a lot of spells. We are getting hit with a lot of spells. And that's the way it goes. <laughs> in the later rounds, you get more of those with the spell cards and the Bings cards, because you've been mixing them in. Yes. And so uh, it's Sarah Sanderson, run amok. And so remove Binks from play. Bye, Binks. I'm going to miss you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, each player discards one ingredient and then draws one ingredient. Okay. Uh, so I got to pick up mine. Thing. And I actually need to draw a card real quick to get my yep. four. And then I will discard that card and draw a new card. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, I will... Oof. Uh, I'm going to put this out, a dash of pox, just to get Binks and see if that'll help us okay. with kind of the communication aspect mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. Do you have orange? Yes. Oh, because you just said everything now. <laughs> you down, can see it. So I can actually see it. <laughs> All right, so I think that might be maybe some way. So I'm going to play an orange thine own tongue. Okay. And I'm sorry, I am just the spell queen over here. Yeah. I am just calling the Sanderson sisters over. All right, so again, my favorite card, dance until <laughs> you die. <laughs> and so discard the top ingredients from each pile unless that ingredient shows things. So we are getting killed with the spells. Ooh. The Sanderson sisters are ruthless here. I, you know, I was thinking we were getting close. And I will tell you, that right there is our last mm -hmm. spell card. And so we might have been outwitted by we the Sanderson We might have been outwitted it, because it <laughs> seems that I've got nothing. I could get us one closer to a dash of pox okay. set, but then I draw this and we have not completed our ritual. Wah, wah. So as you can see, <laughs> this is, it, it, it's a really fun game. It's also really fair because mm -hmm. I think we've lost just about as many as we've won, yes. if not more. Yes. Um, <laughs> but I think that as we go through these that we get a little bit closer yeah. and a little bit better. I know. We got a little bit closer. So with that being said, I mean, hopefully you guys, I see a couple of you saying that this looks really fun. This looks awesome. And so hopefully you will go and pick up your copy. And please, please, please let us know if you fare better than we did against yep. the Sanderson sisters. Absolutely. Because we have now, very sadly, been outwitted by them twice. <laughs> twice. Twice in a row. Twice in a row publicly. <laughs> Alone, just the two of us, no we problem. We do pretty well. But. <laughs> so again, this has been Disney's Hocus Pocus the Game. We hope that you uh, take a chance to pick up a copy and that you enjoy it as much as we did. Yes. And with that, <laughs> we wish you a good rest of Gen Con Online. Mm -hmm. And, Thanks uh, for joining thank us. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>